Meet the long-eared jerboa, a tiny rodent that lives in the deserts of Mongolia and China. It's evolved independently for millions of years, and scientists think it developed big ears to help it hunt insects at night. It's one of the most unusual species you'll ever come across. Uh, looks like it was designed by a committee. It has enormous ears. It hops like a kangaroo, and at the bottom of its feet it has these hairs that allows it to jump along the sand. Dr. Jonathan Bailey and his team recently went to study jerboas and captured the first known footage of the animal. It took us two days' drive into the Gobi to get to the area where we found the, the um, long-eared jerboas. We had to stay up all night because they're obviously nocturnal. We set pitfall traps. We were on a motorbike with a large spotlight uh, looking for jerboas in the night. Well, using the spotlight uh, approach, we came across many different species of jerboa, but we caught the long-eared jerboa in the pitfall traps. Despite being cute and furry, Bailey is interested in this species of jerboa because it's highly threatened. It lives in the desert environment, which is very sensitive uh, to any, uh, any use of, of, of the water. So we now have agriculture and we have mining, illegal mining in the region. And it's alarming that you have agriculture in a desert, but they were actually growing things like watermelons. Um, and it's really unsustainable practice. And so when you're using those limited water resources or contaminating those limited water resources, you affect not only the jerboa, but a whole range of species that are dependent on this water. Although some long-eared jerboas live in areas that are protected, there are no conservation efforts that look specifically at this animal. The EDGE project, a program set up by the Zoological Society of London to study key endangered species, hopes to change this. What we've done is we've identified two really good scientists in the country and we've helped them design their studies and in those studies they're trying to find additional information about status distribution, ecology and threats. They'll pull together all available information on these species and then in, within two years time we'll have a workshop and at that workshop we'll develop an action plan. People will feed into that process and then hopefully buy into a, a conservation uh, program that we'll develop into the future.